Hello again, I'm Sherry Sloan, and today I'm going to show you how to create this image that you see by using first this image and then this image and putting them together to create this image. So let's get started. You're going to be using Pixlr X, so please make sure you're using Pixlr X and open the image. And first we're going to open the picture of the girl. And I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to use the defaults that it gives me. It just makes a, a much smaller image, which is what I want to work with. Um, if you work with too big of an image, you wind up with um, just something that takes a lot of um, um, space. So my first uh, job is to cut her out, just like I did the apple before, but I'm going to duplicate my background. It's just a good it's just a good step to do um, just to learn to duplicate your background <clears throat> and I'm also going to toggle it so it's not visible. Um, zoom in a bit and I'm going to go through and start cutting her out. I'm going to use um, a hard brush. This is a nice size and I should be removing her. Now, if for some reason you see that your girl is not removing, and notice I'm not going right near the edge. I discussed that in the previous video as to why we do not go right to the edge. Um, and you can have a bigger brush. Oops, much too big. You can stamp these. Or you can slide. Um, I am going to use the magic thing down here. Let me go back to keep. So if you mess up, you can always come up here to keep. And I'm going to keep some of this lace here. I'm going to show you why, because I remember this lace. I need to keep some of the background of the lace. So let me zoom in. I'm going to use my magic tool for this um, lace here so that I keep the color um, so I can cut out the background only. So let's see how good of a job it does. The magic cutout. I'm going to start choosing these whites. Mm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the magic cutout. Oh, I have it on keep. That's why. Undo. Undo. Let's try this again. Now I'm on remove. And that's my goal is I'm trying to remove the lace without the background. That did not go so well. So I'm going to try that again <clears throat> with a little less tolerance. Let's try this again. And again, my goal is to get most of the lace and I'm going to zoom in. Let's see how I, I did it on that. Remember, it's just getting the nearby pixels that are the same color as the pixel we are selecting. It isn't perfect when um, you're using, you know, the, the, the magic thing. Um, you know, I just, this is not a project I'm keeping, so I don't want to spend a ton of time on it, but I am going through and removing most of this. Now, to see if you've done a good job, to see if it's acceptable for you, you're looking to see if um, you can see the lace and it looks nice when you invert it. So I'm going to invert the cutout. And that lace, to me, it does not look so great yet. So I'm going to keep going through and I'm going to speed this up so that you can um, get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to again go in closely on the lace using the uh, magic tool and then I'm just going to um, cut her out close to the edge and then I'll come back.
Okay, we are on to her hair now. Uh, there is a little bit of hair over here that is coming out. I'm going to try and use the magic um, tool again. What is it called? Magic cutout tool. Um, and try and get her hair pixel colors. I'm pretty satisfied with what I have here. Um, here's my girl all cut out. And now I'm going to actually cut her out by coming down and where it says apply cut out. She is now cut out of the background and now I'm going to load an image, open an image, and now I'm going to open the beach, click open. I'm going to add it to the current. Notice it put um, the beach on top of her, so I'm going to click on her and put her on top of the beach. And now I can move her anywhere I like. Unfortunately, once I cut her out, I can't undo anything. So it looks like I have part of her head kind of gone there. That's kind of annoying. I didn't do so good of a job on her left side of her head there, but that's okay. We're going to add her to the beach in a logical way. Let's put her down here. Hold your shift key down as you make her bigger and smaller. And there she goes. And now you have your girl on a different background. And when you're done, you're going to go ahead and click save. If you need a high quality image, go ahead and make a high quality. For um, my assignments, you do not need a high quality. And I'm going to click on download. And that's it. That's the end of the project.